<coughs> oh, hi there. Sorry, I thought you were the cops. This is Kayam, creator of Chuck Norris and Oblivion. Seeing as how I haven't released an episode in quite some time, there's numerous rumors going around that I've met my demise at the hands of vicious, bloodthirsty jackrabbit zombies. Well, today, I'm here to prove you all wrong and show you a thing or two about how I do my fight scenes in the show. Wonder why it takes so long for an episode to come out? Keep watching. Alright, so first thing I'll do is fire up the save manager, lets you pick and choose what save games you want to open up on Oblivion, and Fraps, a very popular program for recording footage from a game. Then here we got the mod manager, it lets you pick and choose the different mods that you've downloaded based on the save game that you've chosen through the save manager. We're in the game and we're gonna collect our raw footage here. And we don't want our character to be in the shot at all, so we want to go ahead and hide him behind this shack here. Okay, so from here you're gonna fire up the console using the tilde key, and then type in TFC. This will bring it into free cam mode, and there's Chuck there. And now let's choose our spot that we want to have our fight scene. Right here looks good. So to get rid of your menus, you're gonna type in TM after firing up the console. And then go ahead and hit record on your fraps and just take your shots, whatever you want to have for your background footage. Uh, better off for a fight scene to have a lot of movement going on, uh, you know, to make it seem more action packed. In this case, I have somebody going to be throwing somebody in the water. Now when you pull your footage into your editing program, most of the time it's going to be a little bit too slow for a fight scene. So you're going to want to speed it up a little bit. Uh, I'm putting this one at about 300%, but it varies depending on the type of shot that you want. So in this case, 300% is a pretty good speed. I'm just going to make a few edits on the end here just to make the part where he's flying into the water seem a little quicker. So from whatever editing program you happen to be using, you're going to go ahead and render that footage out. So now that we got all our background footage, we're going to move on to After Effects. This is where we take all our background footage and put all the action footage over top of it. From here, just import the file that you just rendered, place it into the time bar, and now comes the fun part. We're going to go back into the game, except this time we're actually going to use a special mod that I use for green screening. This is how I do all my action footage. I'm not going to go too in depth into the mod itself, but basically it just adds a big green room into your testing hall in the game. Anyway, we're going to make Chuck here throw a punch. And once again, hit record on fraps, and do your move. Back in After Effects, you're going to import the footage that you just took. Once you got everything where you want it, you're going to right click on your time bar, go to Effect, Keying, and then Color Key. And this tool will let you knock out all the green in the background, just leaving the character. Keep in mind that you can also layer different color keys over top of each other as many times as you want. You don't have to worry about it if the first one doesn't take out all the green in the background. And now all you gotta do is animate him on screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move him back over off to the edge of the screen. And we're gonna set a keyframe. This is where he'll start. And then we'll move him down a little bit and set the end keyframe as well. Now this way it looks like he's running down the hill. Alright, so we got one guy punching, but we want to give him something to punch, right? Let's bring in Paul Hogan. So now we got to choose an animation that Hogan's going to be doing. So I guess I'm just going to give him a pondering animation. Have him thinking about life. Or his noise. And from here on in, it's rinse repeat. Just uh, import the footage into After Effects. Use the color key to take out your green. And put him where you want.
Continue this pattern with whatever animations you see fit. Half the battle is finding the right animations for the scene. One thing you'll want to keep in mind is, you'll want the light source to be roughly the same as you film your character in your green screen. This will make the difference between making it look like your character is copy and pasted there, or actually in the scene itself. If your character is standing on the ground, it's important to always remember where his feet are, and what angle you're looking at him on when you do your action footage. After some practice, you can string many animations together in many different ways to achieve the effect you want. And boom goes the dynamite. The end product should look something like this. And on the next episode, explosions. <laughs>